Shalom. We want to start giving all praises due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, and respect and charity to all you elders and up and coming brothers and disciples who's out there pushing this word with sincerity and truth. Okay? <clears throat> um, this is quick to the point. It's about 7 o'clock in the morning, you know, and I just wanted to give thanksgiving or give thanks to the Most High for whatever He gave me, you know, and that's me waking up in the morning, that's me having, um, taking care of my family, you know what I'm saying, that's me, um, with my health, you know what I'm saying, the little bit of money that He gave me, you know, food. You know, and a lot of people, what they do is they wait until they're doing bad, and then they call on the Lord. But I wanted to call on the Lord when I, <clears throat> in the state that I'm doing, I'm not doing excellent or superb or I'm not filthy rich, but I'm filthy rich with knowing the scriptures, and I have enough substance what I need, and I thank the Lord for that, you know. So I just wanted to get up, it's about 7 o'clock in the morning. And I wanted to give all praises due to the Most High for everything, you know. And that's the same name, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah. That's the same name under the umbrella which is going to be protection when America is destroyed by thermonuclear missiles. You know, um, when famine comes, the prophet of the Most High is going to be protected, you know. So in that name, in that, in that name alone is, is, is trust. So you got to call on the Heavenly Father, and you got to always give thanksgiving the good times as well as the bad, okay, so this is um, Psalms 34, I will bless the Lord at all times, his praise shall continually be in my mouth, and how can I do that, by preaching the gospel, doing the videos, hoping that the, that the, um, the, that vibration spreads around the world, to open up the other elect um, brothers and sisters in the four corners of the earth, you know. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. And that's another thing, you have to be humble in this knowledge, you know. And there's a time for everything. So when I say be humble, be careful because we have wolves and sheep clothing that will use that to their advantage, you know. And I, as I brung out, if you want to know how a, a real brother, a brotherly love of a brother could, could, saying that he is your brother, you know what I'm saying? When you be humble, he's either going to try to take advantage of you or he's going to try to sun you. That's what the old, um, the old G's used to do back in the days. You know what I'm saying? They'd be like, take the young men under their wing and put a package in their ass. Give them some drug package and say, yo, go get that money. I'll take care of you. That's not the way. You know what I'm saying? That's not the way. Okay? Verse 3. Oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exhort his name together. I sought the Lord, and he heard me, and delivered me from all my fears. That's right, because the Lord is the only one that can deliver you from, from your fears, your trouble. Okay? You're distressed in life. Even in bad health. You know what I'm saying? You call on the, on the Lord. You do your fasting. You turn towards the east that will give you more power, and you say that name. And that name is Yahweh. It means breath. It means life. You know what I'm saying? And Yahweh shall deliver. Shiloh. Until Shiloh come. You know what I'm saying? In that name, that's your salvation. Not a man. In that name, that's, that's, that's a healing. In that name. It wakes you up. It whispers in your mind. You know what I'm saying? In your heart, which is your spiritual mind, Lahab. The Hebrew word for Lahab. And it says, this is the way. Walk ye in it. Alright? Verse 5. They looked unto him and were lightened. And their faces were not ashamed. That's right. You can never go wrong. Your face is not going to be ashamed when you're doing the work of the Heavenly Father. You got to really trust in this. And you got to really believe in this. You know? And even if you don't have much, you know what I'm saying, you work what you got. You know, I don't know what scripture it is, but it says it's, it's, better than a, a, it's better to have a piece of bread with love that dwells in the house. Amongst, and the house could mean consist of brotherly love, 
or even your immediate family. You know what I'm saying? But you can have a piece of bread. It's better to have a small piece of bread in the house, but there's love in it, than to have a house full of lots of vegetables and meats and all types of dainties where there's deceit and hate in it. Okay? Verse 6. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his trouble. The poor man is the man of, of Israel. You know what I'm saying? The poor man is the, the, is the prophets. You know what I'm saying? Prophesying to the downfall of this place, but the people don't want to hear it. You know? That's the poor man spiritually. You know what I'm saying? But spiritually, we're rich. Okay? I'm the poor man. And all the other brothers out there doing the work of the Lord, they're the poor man. You know what I'm saying? Because we're, we're poor in the society, but we're rich in the scriptures. Okay? That's how we rich. That's how we blessed. That's why you give all praises and thanksgiving always to the Lord, man. When you get a little something, even when you, even it's important when you eat your food, when you, when you get up in the morning, if the Lord, the Most High allows you to get up in the morning, He gave you breath, He gave you life, and you got a, a, some food on the table to eat, you better thank Him for that, because you don't know when times when it might be <clears throat> hard times when you not have that food. Okay? But He will find a way for you. That's why I give thanksgiving to him, man. You know what I'm saying? When you got time, when you get when, when you doing bad, don't just call on him. Oh Lord, why I'm doing so bad? Help me. <laughs> nah, man. When you doing good, you think about the Lord. You give praises to him. You pray. You don't forget that, man. Don't wait until you in time of trouble and always run into the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Require in the Lord when you doing well. Okay? Never forget him. Always keep him in here. Give him the things prayer. Always, when you get up in the morning, man, think about him. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Verse 8. Verse 7. The angel of the Lord encamped round about them that fear him and deliver them. See? There it is right there. The angel of the Lord encamps around the man that believes in him and fears the Most High. Okay? So, right then alone, if you have faith, and you trust and you believe and you call on that name that's a strong tower the most high put his angels of the lord to encamp to protect you but you have to fear the lord and fearing the lord is a conduct by the way you act and by the way you carry yourself the way you true treat others okay you know what is the first commandment is to love thy god with the with thy whole heart you know what i'm saying but the second unto like is to love thy brother too you know, you don't treat and mislead people, um, other people. You know what I'm saying? Because that's not scriptural. That's not part of the Lord. That's not Yahweh Shai. And, and, and by you doing that, there's no salvation in that. Okay? So the camp of the angel of the Lord is the camps around us. You know what I'm saying? He protect us. And he protect your family. So when all this, when America be destroyed, you know what I'm saying? You're going to be protected. The angels of the Lord are going to come get you. If you believe that. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people say they believe that, but right now they're getting their bellies full. So they're saying that now because that's just like a church prosperity doctrine. You know what I'm saying? But do you really believe that? You better believe that. In verse 8, O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusts in him. Blessed in the man that trusts in him. I'm not going to read all of this. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to touch bases on that. I'm going to hit you with one more last scripture, Ephesians 5 and 20. Remember, the, man, the Lord will remember you for doing that. Oh, that guy, that guy, um, Brother Shemai, or, <clears throat> or Brother Gabar Bar, or Brother um, Yashalam, or Brother, um, any brother that's in this faith. He, he got up and he giving thanks to me for what he got. And he might not have nothing, but then he will decrease and give you more. That's how you get blessings, man. He will increase and give you more because you, you, you appreciate the little that you have. And then he be like, damn, this brother's praising me. He only got a little bit. And then you got brothers that have a lot and they all for self-gain. Ephesians 5 and 20.
giving thanks always for all things unto the Most High and the Father in the name of our Lord, Mashiach, Yahawashah. Submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of the Most High. In the fear of the Most High. Trust in these words. Give thanks to the Most High. Always in everything you do. Because every time you speak, it's breath. It's life. That's Yahweh. Bahashem. Yahweh Shah. Shalom.